Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica and I'm back with a new project pen. This time is the last um, project pen for 2018. It's the fourth uh, one for, for this year. I will have this one open until the end of, uh, of the year. I will close actually this one at the end of the year and then I will start a new one. It seems like project pens, if you're uh, watching my empties, you can see that uh, works well for me in reducing the amount of uh, products that I have and uh, feels so nice to have all of them uh, out of my collection that I will keep doing those project pens. I don't know how uh, I don't know how well I will be doing in the next um, two months and a half um, until the end of the year because um, my schedule work changes and um, I will have less and less and less time. But uh, we'll see. In this project, when I have around fifty something products, and I will leave it on the screen the number of total products. I have just uh, probably um, two deluxe samples and all uh, of the rest of them, all of them are uh, full size products. So uh, we'll see how good I am in using full size products because my next project pen will be samples, just samples. So uh, we'll see how many samples I'll, I'll be able to use in three months. It's another part in my collection that uh, I want to remove. In the meantime, let's see what I have for this, uh, for uh, part 4 of 2000, um, 2018. I can't believe it's done already, almost. And I will start with some makeup products. The first one, it's a powder. It's a setting powder and this one is from Laguerre Minerals. It's a full size. I'm working on this one for a long time. And uh, right now I'm here. Probably a little bit under the line, but it's a lot of product in the lid. So when I uh, I let this one set, the line was uh, was here. So is this one. It's a setting powder that um, kind of um, change the color of your foundation and I'm using this one when I'm using uh, my Tarte uh, 10, um, the Tarte uh, 10 foundation which is uh, darker so I want to get that uh, this one out from my collection because I have one more like that and this one lasts forever then I have two makeup products from um, Yves Saint Laurent is the Touch Eclat Blur Primer this one is full and here is the foundation unfortunately it doesn't say what shade is this one so i cannot tell you what's the shade but i want to use the two of them those are deluxe uh, samples then i have a full size lip product and this one is from tristic it's that uh, with the magnetic lid and it's a nude color, a color that I, that I can wear every day. Here is the product. And I have, uh, I have a mark here. I don't know if you can see where is the shiniest point. I have a mark on the lid on uh, how much I have in this one. So I can mark it again on the first update. Probably I will have an update after a month and a half, depending how uh, I'm gonna use the products. I will have an update um, probably around the or before the middle of November and then the final uh, part. I have a concealer and this one is from um, Do the Do It. Cannot tell you exactly the name. Is this much in this one? And I also have uh, a mark. Actually, I didn't. Yeah, I have a mark uh, on the lid, and I usually I'm gonna show you how I mark how I mark them. I'm counting from the base to on the on the lid when it's possible. If not, I mark them on a, a piece of paper. So is this concealer? 
Then I had the lip oil from Clarins. It's a product that it's never ending. Is this one in raspberry, if I remember right? No, it's in 04 candy. Beautiful product to wear alone or uh, on top of your lipstick. I have couple like uh, like them, like this one in different uh, colors. But I wanna finish uh, one of them. Then I have a contour stick from Maybelline. I used to like this one better than the powder for contouring. Comes with the contour part and the highlighting part. And of course I have a mark on the lid. And here is all the product in this one. I got couple more products like this in um, Allure Beauty Swag or Beauty Thrill boxes. So I wanna finish this one first because I have opened for a while. And um, many items in here are items that I want to finish because they are all, they are uh, open, and I kind of wanna, kind of um, wanna clean my uh, my collection from items that uh, are uh, already open. Then I had a blush which I lost for a while. Is the Ulta blush that was in my favorites, and uh, now. It's a favorite with the, um, was that one that I have in my favorites, the Laura Geller one. Here I have pictures of those. Here is, uh, I hit the pen already in this one and I'm trying to get the most uh, from this. I'm not planning to finish it because it's still a lot of product there. Then I have an item from the Too Faced and this one is, um, Milk Chocolate Soleil in Light Medium Matte Bronzer. I use this one as a setting powder because the color is very light. I don't know if you're able to see, but I have, uh, at least I can see the shape of the pen. So hope uh, to hit the pen in this one. Then I have another Too Faced product and this one is the Coco Powder Foundation. It's another product that I'm using as a setting uh, spray, a uh, setting powder. Is this one, it's almost gone, but I wanna finish it. Smells amazing. I wanna finish this one because this one is not old at, uh, at all. I used it in the last uh, month and a half and I did, um, I used a good amount of this. But I like it and I want to finish this one. It seems like my camera is dying soon. Then I have a Josie Moran Argan Alignment Illuminizing Veil. Another product that I really like. This is my second full size that I use. I have the pen. I hope to increase that pen. Then I have a brow product and this is the 8 Cosmetics Brow Power, the universal uh, pencil in top and uh, here is how much I have left. I use this one for months and months and it's still a ton of product there. I have a mark on the lid. So hopefully to get this uh, out also. Then I have in here a foundation that I want to work uh, on it is the Sephora Infusion is this one and the shade of this one is number 14 beige beige delicate so I have a mark here I use this one a couple times I have a mark and I'm trying to use the most uh, possible from this one also then I have a primer that I had in uh, my last project pen and I want to finish it. It's a full size. It's a touch and sole, no problem primer. And I have a mark here. Another makeup product that I want to work on it is the Love of Color. This is the heavy petal shadow stick. Is this one. It's um, like a highlighter, it's a rosy gold color, which I usually use for my inner corner. I'm trying to use the most of, uh, of this. And I have also a mark for this one. 
actually for this one I have a picture because uh, the lid is too small to mark this one and I have a picture I will try to, to, to put that one on the screen also as for the other products and then I have uh, another primer which I uh, received uh, recently is the Ila Masqua Veil uh, is the Hydra Veil um, gel primer I'll show you how much is in this one it was uh, it's not much left but uh, probably it was um, almost half full when I received this one so finished this one and of course I will take um, the Too Faced Natural Love palette that I have it for the whole year I will take it in the fourth part as you can see those signs for the other uh, three project pens so far I'm here right now the palette looks like this I will uh, take a close picture to to the whole palette I uh, I will work work uh, a little bit more on this one and then I'm done with the with this palette so far this is um, everything as uh, as makeup and uh, I have this time couple products that are from the same line and collection and for those products because uh, if you wash my empties you know those are uh, way too long I will try to do a video for uh, products like uh, this line and I'll tell you in a minute what's about because I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 around nine products from the same line so I will probably do a separate video uh, reviewing those products and uh, considering them uh, empty when they will be empty first time the there are from the Sol de Janeiro brand is the Boom Boom line of course is the full size Boom Boom cream is this one lovely 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 then I have still from them that I want to use I'm using a lot of body cream so that's why you'll see two full sizes and the other one is the acai body power still from the Sol de Janeiro so uh, I want to use those two Then I have still from the Sol de Janeiro, I have the foot cream which comes with that uh, surfboard, the one that uh, works great for your, uh, your heels to remove dry skin, a really really nice product and the foot cream of course, it's uh, full, it's new. Then I have in here the shower gel from them, which is this one. It's another uh, new product that I didn't use before, and the body scrub. So those two also. Still from them, I have the body mist, and I used this one a couple times. I am right here with this one. Beautiful as all the boom boom. Um, products the sand then I have um, the bed balm from uh, the same boom boom uh, line one of them the hand cream which is a full size also and I being a full size I didn't choose any other uh, hand cream and of course we couldn't uh, close the line without the lip balm which is another amazing product that's all you can get I will uh, I didn't mark this one somehow but I will mark this one on the on the lid also so um, that's the last product from this uh, brand then I have another brand that I have for products and I will excuse me I will talk about them uh, in a separate video it's from Loro Le Royale 24 Gold Infused Night Cream and I will show you the size of this. The packaging is beautiful but we'll talk in another video about this. 
here is the full size my cream. Because I'm planning to make another video with those two. I'm not gonna open each one of them because it's gonna take too long. I have the full size eye cream. Also the eye serum. And the day moisturizer. So it was uh, four um, skincare products from the same line. Also a skincare. I wanna try the Alpha H liquid gold with glycolic acid. Although this one is new, I am right here. Where is the, where is the line? It's very watery. It's a serum that you're supposed to use every other day. So we'll see about this one. Then I have three face oils. Yes, three. First one it's a deluxe sample from Lancer, and I have the mark on this one. Second is this uh, Wurong that I had in my last project pen. I will work on this one too. And the third one, which doesn't feel at all as an oil, is the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Superfood Face uh, Face Oil. Doesn't feel, doesn't um, look like an oil, smells amazing. And here is the mark for this one. For some of the products, I had to cut the label in order to see where I am as a, as a mark. Oops. So, then I have uh, three hair products and I have two hair serums. This one is from N uh, Degree. It's a hair serum and I have a mark here. I don't know if you can see. Here is the mark for this one. Then I have the Dove um, Regenerate Nourishing Serum in Oil and have the mark also here. And the third hair product in here is from Batiste. And this is the dry shampoo. Is the original I believe. No. It's natural and light bear. I have this one on my sink and I keep moving it from a place to, my, to another. I want to use uh, this one because I have many full sizes like this in different uh, scents or whatever is that. I'm not a fan of this one because it leaves uh, a white cast. You work it uh, on it, you comb your hair and the white cast uh, disappear. But I'm tending to use more as usual, the more uh, deluxe samples. So I have this one for this uh, project. Then I have two perfumes that uh, I want to work, I want to finish this one. I had this one in another project pen. I have the mark here. And this one is Beyonce Heat Rush, a beautiful scent. And the Lady Gaga, although it's a, I have the mark here, I don't know if you can see the mark. When it's going to be in, a little bit more empty, you're going to see the mark. It's the Lady Gaga. On the label, it doesn't say the name of this perfume. It's a black one, but it doesn't stay in your uh, your clothes. So not gonna finish this one, but I will work uh, on this one. Then I have two face uh, mists, and those are from Korean brands. One of them is the Tony Moly Tony Moly Pocket uh, Bunny Moist Mist. It's this cute one guy which uh, smells delicious. And another beautiful, delicious uh, scent is the Too Cool For School Gel Mist. Is this one? It's a jelly consistency, eh? which uh, another product that leaves your hair uh, skin very nice, soft, moisturized, and smelling amazing. So those two. Then I have uh, two toners. I want to finish uh, at least one of them. I'm not planning to finish the two of them because it's too much and toners take, uh, especially full sizes, takes a while to finish. The first one is from Scenic. It's all day fine pore toner. And I'm here with the, with the mark. And the second one is Beauty by Earth facial toner with uh, which has a in, um, rose petal and it does have a rose petal inside it's and probably you can see a little bit from the, from the inside it's a full size also 
I'll use as much I can. Also from this brand, I have the facial scrubs still from them. It's a natural um, brand with natural ingredients. This is a pure and organic facial scrub. Is this one in a full size? And also from this brand, I have the cleanser, Beauty by Earth facial cleanser in a super fruit and see see something is this one another full size also i have two more cleansers that i want to work uh, with them one of them is another korean uh, brand and this is from naive it's rich and deep moist and i'm here with this one it's a foam uh, cleanser so i didn't reach too much for uh, for this one but i'm trying to get uh, out one out uh, that one also and uh, the third cleanser that I have is the Peter Thomas Root 24 uh, Gold Poor Luxury Cleansing Butter. Here is the packaging for this one. Comes with that uh, cognac sponge. Comes with the sponge. And here is the product. I used this one maybe twice. So I think it's time to remove this one also, looks like this. Oops. So that's the third cleanser that I have in here. If I'll finish too, I'll be happy because I have also the samples of the week video and some of the samples are taking me a week uh, until I, uh, I'm able to review them. So uh, I will have also the refreshing apricot scrub, it's from Equity Beauty, it's a Walmart, Walmart brand, this is the, it's a face scrub, it's a full size, but I'm not gonna use this one for face because I don't like the scent, it's the second one that I have and I will use it for body, works really nice for, uh, for body, but I don't like it for um, it, it doesn't have a bad scent, but so far I don't like it for face. I have better products, so I'll use this one for uh, my body or my feet as uh, a scrub. Then I have a sunscreen, sun cream. This is the I woke up like this SPF 50 that I had in my last project pen, and I'm here right now, work to finish this one. A micellar water that, that lasts me for months and I still have it because I always tend to, to use the lock samples. I'm here with this one. This is another size that uh, lasts forever and I have a couple more full sizes. The pink ones, the pink and the blue one, probably one more like this. But because they last so long, I'm trying to remove them from my collection also. Then I have a couple um, body products and I have in here from the Tree Hot is the Shea Moisturizing Body Wash in Coconut Lime and the same line uh, from us um, body scrub is this one. I use some of the shower gel. I am here with the line and this one is full in uh, it wasn't uh, open. Love the scent of this one. It's a great uh, body scrub and uh, very inexpensive. It's five dollars the full size at Walmart or uh, Ulta. I like to use the two of them because I don't like to combine uh, different scents. So I'm trying as much uh, when it's possible to use the same uh, scent. So I have those two, and then I have, uh, as I told you before, I'm removing um, hand washes from my collection also, and in order to not buy uh, something that I don't need, I will use those. This is the sparkling uh, lemon foaming hand soap, and I'm using another one right now at my sink, and those are um, hand washes that I'm using just at my sink. So. Um, is this one from Malta and a favorite of mine from uh, Bed and Body Works is the Deep Cleansing Hand Soap and this one is Cucumber Melon which smells really really good 
love that one and the last two products in here are um, from Rituals and I have uh, around half in each one this one is Yogi Delight Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil it's a soothing shower oil beautiful product but I have this open for a while and I wanna finish it I am right I'm here with the mark and the last one in here it's the rituals um, ritual of sakura is the caring um, shower oil which is beautiful beautiful product you're not gonna need a um, body lotion after using this one it's uh, almost half um, have done I would like to keep this one because it's an uh, amazing product but I have it open for uh, more than a month probably around two months now and I want to finish it so this is kind of all in my last project pen of uh, 2018 let me know what do you think about project pens what would you like to to use if you will have a project pen what do you like to remove from your collection so far this is uh, what I want to get rid of <laughs> if I can say that in uh, until uh, the end of the year love project pens if you have one I will love to watch that that's kind of all for this video my battery is dying uh, in couple minutes will be will be actually dead in couple minutes so um, I wish you guys uh, a very happy day or night whatever is there uh, an amazing uh, week do the best you can for uh, yourself I will see you soon bye bye